Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, a Pilatus PC-24 update from the NBAA Exhibition and Convention. NBAA Exhibition news about ACSS and their ADS-B avionics. Cessna already announcing Citation Longitude performance increases. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's November 3rd, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. In a report from NBAA Exhibition Convention being held this week, ANN's Jim Campbell brings us up to date on the Pilatus PC-24 and gains insight about the Pilatus aerodynamic design freeze. PC-24, what's, uh, what's the overall health report on that development program and more important, when can we play with it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know too. Yeah, really. uh, no, I've got big plans for it next year uh, in terms of photo shoots and uh, and uh, especially me. well, I'm especially looking forward to going into some small mountain strip and surprising the heck out of a lot of people. Well, I, I got some places to suggest, man. Good. Well, you, we'll take you along with us then. There you go. Um, as you heard today in the press conference, um, we've been very uh, holding our cards close to our chest throughout the development effort. But as Andre mentioned to you today. We've made an aerodynamic freeze on the airplane, which means essentially as it is today, that's the airplane we're going to certify. Mm -hmm. You'll see the airplane out at um, uh, static display on Wednesday. There are no vortex generators. There's no stall fences. There's no winglets. I mean, this airplane, 81 knot stall speed for a 17,000 pound jet is really impressive. And the aerodynamicist got it, got it just mm -hmm. right. Took a lot of analysis and a lot of creativity. And as Marcus said, mm -hmm. just innovation. How can we be different? How can we do something that uh, nobody's done before that our customers want. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me, well, why would anybody want to fly a business jet into a dirt strip? Look at our customers like Royal Flying Doctor Service. That's exactly what they do. This airplane was designed for that type of operations. Maybe a Procter & Gamble will never do that with it, but they can. And there's a lot of places you can go and twice as many runways around the world that you can use that airplane. The NBAA convention gave ANN's Jim Campbell a chance to obtain an update from ACSS about their line of ADSB avionics. Here's Jim with his update. Terry, we're the day before NBAA 2016. Uh, not a whole lot of news out there outside of people going, hey, we survived. But you've got some news for us. Tell us first about the transponder products and then the WASH GPS products. Yeah, so we just announced uh, NXT 700. It's a replacement for the MST 67A. There's about 4,000 airplanes out there that needs an upgrade to this new transponder. This is a plug and play transponder that fits into the current system and current location, so you don't have to repin everything. You can plug it in, add a couple of wires and you're good to go. The product has already been TSO'd and it's already been approved by AML STC. And the WASH GPS product. WASH GPS, this is to go along with the transponder. It allows the system to be upgraded with a WASH GPS so you don't have to use a tool that the FAA requires you to use to get um, a dispatch for flying in the NAS. So this WASH GPS is a low cost. It doesn't impact your FMS system. It allows you to fly with the current transponder and allows you to be compliant to meet the 2020 mandate. And keeping up with what will be happening over the next few years, change-wise? Uh, change-wise, we're very, very involved in not only ADSB out, but ADSB in. We're trying to work with the FA and a couple airline customers to reduce separations, trying to move IFR into a VFR mode, mm -hmm. kind of speak. Uh, we do have a little bit of time to get that done because the procedures with ATC uh, take a little bit longer to replace and to change but we're in a good, very good position for that right now. After the break, Citation Longitude performance is expanded. The 2-inch MD93 digital clock and USB charger features intuitive operation with four modes, local time, universal time, flight timer, and stopwatch. 
The dual USB charging port supplies 2.1 amps of power per port to personal electronic devices with a USB interface. Learn more at MCICO.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Cessna announced during this year's Business Aviation Exhibition Convention that its citation longitude will exceed initial performance targets with improved range and payload. Cessna says the longitude has achieved an improved range of 3,500 nautical miles, which is an increase of 100 nautical miles and full fuel payload increase of 100 pounds to 1,600 pounds. Cessna's Michael Thacker, the Senior Vice President of Engineering, said in part, these increases for both range and payload on the longitude will bring even more value to our customers, particularly for popular non-stop routes, including New York to Paris, London to Dubai, and Singapore Singapore to Sydney. Following an impressive unveiling at last year's NBAA and successful first flight earlier this month, the Citation Longitude made its flying debut to this year's NBAA exhibition and convention. After these messages, Proline Fusion upgrade for King Air B200 now certified. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Renbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Renbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Rockwell Collins Proline Fusion Avionics upgrade for Proline 2 equipped King Air B200 series aircraft has been certified by the FAA. This upgrade is available through Rockwell Collins authorized dealers and provides compliance with airspace modernization deadlines. CAE is currently recruiting cadets for EasyJet in Europe to support their growth and need for more professional pilots. The selected cadets will begin training in March 2017 at CAE Oxford Aviation Academies in Oxford, UK and Phoenix, Arizona. The Civil Air Patrol is holding a one-week training course this week for commanders at CAP National Headquarters. One region commander and 14 wing commanders are attending the course that includes leadership skills, safety, and other CAP operational protocols. Standard Aero Business Aviation announced it's recently surpassed more than 19,000 Honeywell TFE 731 turbofan engine core zone inspections and major periodic inspections since first servicing these engines nearly 40 years ago. They say they have also responded to more than 5,000 mobile service requests. Avidyne has announced a strategic partnership with Smart Sky Networks. Smart Sky Networks is a high performance air to ground connectivity network operator, in which Avidyne will become a channel partner in providing and supporting Smart Sky's airborne products into the U.S. Light General Aviation aircraft. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's get back to the rest of the news. 
Pratt & Whitney Canada continues to introduce new variants of its PT-6A engine and they point to the PT-6A140 turboprop and the PT-6A140 AG as current examples. Over 350 PT-6A140 series engines have been produced to date. The company says it provides 15% more power and 5% better specific fuel consumption. They say it's more than 230,000 accumulated flying hours and a perfect record of reliability as setting the benchmark for this class of engine. Since the PT-6A 140AG was originally certified in 2012 to power the Cessna Grand Caravan EX, AG Plane Producers Air Tractor and Thrush have selected the engine for their 500-gallon aircraft. Certified by the FAA in March, the Air Tractor 502 XP also uses the engine and the new version of the Thrush 510P aircraft, whose certification is expected in 2017, will also be powered by the 140 AG. The company says their PT-6A 140 series engines have also been selected by Blackhawk Modifications, Standard Aero and Aircraft Structures International for their Cessna Caravan conversion and upgrade programs. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage, the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.